Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid, and the reason that I look like this today is just so that I can ask you two important questions. In English, do we say the headphones are on the table or do we say the headphones is on the table? What do we say? What's right? And second question, do we say the sunglasses is on the table or do we say the sunglasses are on the table? What's the right answer? If you're not sure, by the end of this lesson, you will be sure. Because what's special about this lesson is we're going to talk about plural nouns that don't seem plural because this seems like it's one thing. But when it comes to English grammar, we actually regard glasses and sunglasses as something plural. Let's look at some examples. All right, here we go. So, for example, we say the scissors are, binoculars are, the headphones are. Why? Because if you really think about it, they're kind of two parts to these things, right? The scissors have two blades. The binoculars, binoculars to see things far away. The binoculars have two lenses. The headphones have two parts that fit over your ears, right? Okay, so therefore it's actually R, even though it seems like it's one thing, okay? Now, also when it comes to certain items of clothing, which you might not realize, and maybe you were making a mistake with this, and this is kind of a really bad mistake to make. So jeans is considered, this word is considered plural. So we say, my jeans are blue. My shorts are, my pajamas are, the pants are, okay? Again, think about it. These have two parts, right? Two legs. So it's considered plural, even though it's looks like one item of clothing. I will explain that part to you in another uh, few minutes, okay? Next, another category of words like this, which are plural, but it seems like one, is, for example, a team, the Yankees. So we, if we use the name of the team, then we say the Yankees are, okay, a good team, for example. Or if we say the name of a, uh, a band, a music group, the Beatles are, okay? I'm gonna tell you when it's a little bit different, but for now, this is the principle, okay? And similarly, lots and lots of other things like this, such as the glasses, the sunglasses, the stairs, okay? The stairs are, the fireworks are, lots and lots of words like this in English, which might appear to be one thing, but it's actually plural and therefore we have to use a plural verb. Now, like always, English has exceptions, right? Okay, so let's look at how some of these exceptions work when it comes to this subject. So, for example, we would say, these jeans are too tight. That's exactly what I taught you so far, right? However, if we refer to the collective word, then we usually say, this pair of jeans is too tight. Now we're talking about the pair. The pair is too tight, okay, but the jeans are too tight, all right? So you have to be careful what you're, uh, which words you're actually using. Uh, the same way here. If we t said the name of the team, the Yankees are, but the team is. The Beatles are, but the band is. Okay, the stairs are, the flight of stairs is, okay, and so on and so forth. We also say pair for many other things here. Pair of jeans, pair of shorts, pair of pajamas, pair of pants, pair of trousers if you're British, okay, uh, and so on. Also pair of binoculars, all right. Now, that's one part of the exception. Another part of the exception that I want to point out to you is some other words that are actually singular even though they have an S at the end. 
I know English is crazy. I know. But I'm here to help you negotiate that crazy path as best you can. All right? So, for example, when we talk about languages or uh, sports that end in S, that is considered singular, not plural. All right? For example, we say mathematics is, physics is, economics is, aerobics is, gymnastics is. Okay? So, all of these sports we said is. Also, some games such as Checkers is an interesting game to play when it's raining outside. Billiards is. Darts is a popular game in bars. Okay? Now, these are the basic rules. These are some of the exceptions. And next, we're going to do a little quiz to see how well you've understood these points. So, number one. This pair of shorts is loose or this pair of shorts are loose. Do you remember the rule? What should it be? Well, we have the keyword pair, so it becomes this pair of shorts is loose. And you had another clue there because you had the word this. This refers to one, okay? It's used with for singular things. Next, these pants is tight or these pants are tight? What should it be? Again, you have a clue there. These pants are tight. So again, we had another word there, these. These is used for plural nouns. Next, the binoculars is expensive or the binoculars are expensive. What should we say? Remember binoculars? What you use to see things that are very far away? The binoculars are expensive. Okay, this was one of our um, examples of uh, plural nouns that end with S that seem like they're one item, but in fact, it's considered plural. Next. My pajamas is green or my pajamas are green? What are pajamas anyway? Well, pajamas are what? Like something comfortable that people wear when they go to sleep. They have a top, they have a bottom. They're called pajamas. My pajamas are green. Very good. I heard you. Very nice. Next. Politics is very interesting or politics are very interesting? Which should it be? Do you know? Do you remember? Well, this is like an area, a field, a subject that happens to end with S, but it's considered what? Singular. Good. Just like mathematics, physics, economics, right? Next, the stairs is dangerous or the stairs are dangerous? The stairs are dangerous. Okay. Next. The goods is on sale or the goods are on sale? What does the word goods mean? Goods is a word that we use to refer to merchandise, things, items, okay, that people buy and sell. So, for example, the goods are very good. And the last one, we use this a lot because we use this word a lot because we use this item a lot in everyday life sometimes. So we should know whether it's singular or plural. The scissors is sharp or the scissors are sharp. Very common error. Do you know the answer? What should it be? The scissors are sharp. Okay? And you can stay very sharp in your mind by going to our website at www.ingvid.com to do a quiz on this subject and also to watch lots and lots of other videos that have to do with Im uh, improving your English. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already to get lots of other videos which will help you learn English much faster and much more easily. Okay? 
Thanks very much for watching. Good luck with your English.